worshiper, lover of leaving. Ours is no caravan of despair. Come, yet again come. Welcome to All Souls, where we come together to love beyond belief. I am so glad you are here with us today because this is indeed a day to celebrate. Let us then rejoice in it and be glad. Let us count our many blessings. Let us be grateful for the capacity to feel and understand. Let us be grateful for the incredible gift of life. And let us be especially grateful for the ties of love that bind us together, giving dignity, meaning, worth, and joy to all of our days. Please join with me wherever you are in affirming our covenant. Love is the spirit of this church and service is its law. This is our great covenant, to dwell together in peace, to seek the truth in love, and to help one another. From all that dwell below the skies, let faith and hope with love arise. Let beauty, truth, and good be sung through every land by every tongue. Good morning. Have you ever heard the saying, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step? It comes from an ancient proverb taken from the Tao Te Ching, probably written by the famous philosopher Lao Tse. I find these bits of history amazing. The idea that thousands of years ago, people had these deep thoughts and they came up with these kernels of wisdom that still hold true today. Any journey begins with a single step. And so it is with change. The story I want to tell you today is by Spike Lee and Tanya Lewis Lee, and it's illustrated beautifully by Sean Qualls. It is called Giant Steps to Change the World and I hope you will take heed. On some days, your dreams may seem too far away to realize. Listen to the whispers of those who came before, those who had hard days, but dared to make their dreams come true. They made giant steps to make the world a better place and left big shoes for you to fill. The road won't be easy. People will try to exclude you, but you must leap over hurdles. Like the Olympic athlete who won gold even though he had been relegated to second class status by the very country he was representing. There will be dark days and lonely nights. Press on through the darkness and keep going the way the freedom fighters encouraged the enslaved to ride the railroad to safety so that all could be free. You won't always have all the answers. Ask for help and guidance, like the teacher who started a school for children thought unteachable and turned them into scholars. Others may try to force you to ignore your principles. Stand your ground, like the heavyweight champion who refused to pick up a gun against a fellow human being. If they tell you no, you're not smart enough, prove them wrong with your fortitude and brilliance, like the neurosurgeon with magic hands because they were wrong about him and they are wrong about you. When you witness the ills that poverty and lack of education heap on a community, lend your voice 
like the poet who wrote of the pain and the beauty of neighborhoods forgotten. If you stare at a painting and do not see yourself, paint your own portrait. Let the world see that you do exist and that you are truly special. Like the boy from Brooklyn whose style was so unique. While some may say you're crazy, wild, or even selfish, you know you are just like the scientist who had a hard time learning to read, but whose theories became the basis for most of modern science. When those whispering in your ear tell you that your country is in need of new leadership and new direction, make a plan and make your voice heard. Like the man who dreamed of his father, found his own vision, and changed the world forever by becoming President of the United States. That first step is key. You may be so unsteady that you actually fall down, but you must pick yourself up and keep going. Your might and courage will be the foundation that impacts us all. So when you take that first big step, beware of the worst enemy of all, fear. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of being different, and fear of being the same. Shoot down that fear like the mighty pilots from Tuskegee who shot down their Nazi foes in the sky. Take a giant step over that fear like the one the astronaut made on the moon for all of mankind. Now it's your turn. Everyone is waiting. What's your next step going to be? Have you ever done something scary for the very first time? Like ride a bike without training wheels. Do you remember that? Going down a really tall slide? Jumping off a diving board? first times can be super scary, but it's how we start. We have to take that first step, just like Lao Che said over 2,500 years ago. Every journey starts with a single step. Our prayer today is to help us with that first step. Help us get calm and ready so that we can take it. So, if you could join me, find your feet on the floor, get loose, feel your breath, let your shoulders relax. <sighs> Bring your hands to your heart in prayer. Take a deep breath and swing your arms wide as you inhale and inhale peace and exhale love and inhale peace and exhale love and inhale peace and exhale love Now you're ready to take that first step. Make us aware we are a sanctuary, each made holy, loved right through.
sanctuary anew. Go and be blessed and be a blessing. Go now in peace, go now in peace.